What is the first thing that you do as a fresh spawn in Rust? Do you farm up for a base? Run towards the nearest gunshots? Or do you end your life so you can respawn on the other side of the map? What if I told you that in this video, I wasn't going to be respawning at all? That's right, once I die, it's lights out forever. So every decision I make will matter more than it ever has before. And let me tell you, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Another day in Rust comes with its own challenges, but not being able to respawn means I would have to be extra careful in order to succeed. I decided my strategy would be to farm the road until I had enough scrap for a boat, and then I would accept the pump shotgun quest to Fishing Village, and if I survived all of that, I would head straight to Oil Rig. As I approached this not so humble set of clan bases, the first important decision of the wipe was set before me. I knew I had to get past these two giant fortresses, but walking up right next to them was too risky knowing I had one life, so I decided to take a long, inconvenient swim to get around them. I spent the next 10 minutes farming some zip lines, recycling all my components, and once I had enough scrap, I headed over to Fishing Village in order to start the diving quest. After claiming my reward, I decided to take the biggest risk of the wipe, and I took my shotgun to oil rig. My palms were sweaty, knowing that one false move could be the end of my journey. My heart raced as I tried to fill my inventory with all the loot, which was far more than anything I was expecting. I couldn't take a backpack because I needed an oxygen tank to escape, so unfortunately I had to leave a bunch of it behind. Upon returning to shore, I quickly farmed up some supplies and built a secure base along the coastline. At this point in the video, I felt like I had reached a milestone in my single life journey. I not only had heaps of loot, but I managed to build a humble little 1x2 to call home. And the part that felt the weirdest to me was not placing a bag inside my base. But after all, I would never need one. So after getting myself situated, I decided to go back to oil rig to gamble with my life yet again. And this time, things got a little dicey. Just as I had expected, the extra loot from my last encounter was gone, which meant people were still actively coming to and from oil rig. It was time to dial it in and bring home the bag, because fumbling it was not an option. I thought I was going to be the first person to clear and control the oil rig, but just as I was climbing the moon pool ladder, a mini landed on the helipad. Things had just gotten a lot riskier for me, 
but I wasn't going to back down from a fight. My goal at the start was to try to get to the top deck unnoticed, but unfortunately, this scientist ruined that for me. The duo above now knew they weren't alone. Once I got to the final ladder, I briefly hesitated. Whatever was about to happen would either make or break this entire video, and I had come way too far just to fail now. I couldn't believe that I came out on top of a 2v1 not once but twice, and the amount of loot I got was insane. I decided to take the heli back to my base and then return with key carts to take the rest of the rig. Everything was going flawlessly and at this point I felt like the king of the world. After looting the locked crate, I completely forgot about the airdrop I threw earlier and I went straight home, though the spoils of my plunder were more than enough to suffice despite my missing airdrop. I had well exceeded my expectations going into this challenge, and I was eager to continue to blow them away. And I just wanted to say if you made it this far, thanks for watching, it really means a lot to me. Anyway, on with the video. I made a final attempt to do oil rig, but a vicious duo turned me around before I even landed, which meant it was time to do some land roaming.
As I was roaming, I found this completely random rocket launcher just sitting in a bush. Out of all of the bushes I could have ran through, what are the chances of me picking this one? Like seriously, what kind of luck is that? And before long, I ran into my next victim. Unsure if I killed him, I checked combat log and then slowly approached. His body was unlootable though, so I moved on to launch site. I didn't really find any loot, but as I was leaving, I saw a fully geared duo with a rocket launcher passing by. They happened to spot me which caught me by surprise, so I waited for them to push me but they never did. Not long after, a locked crate dropped at airfield and I decided to go for it. I decided to camp in between these four units on top of the main building because I thought it was more conspicuous than the airfield tower. It wasn't long before multiple groups came to contest. One of the groups began taking positions on each of the airfield towers, and I realized my first mistake of not shooting them sooner. I was starting to fear that this was the beginning of the end. And just like that, my cover was completely blown, drastically lowering my chances of succeeding. You might be wondering why I kept my suppressor on, and it's because I didn't want any separate groups to become aware of my position. Even if one already did, was this a bad call? Keep watching to find out. And just like that, I made my fatal mistake. Death was practically inevitable. I held out hope that maybe I would get up, but what were the chances of that? And at last, I was dead. I'll be honest, I probably could have tried a bit harder to stay alive during that last bit. But overall, I'm very happy with how this video turned out. I never would have expected to make it this far on my first try. Believe it or not, this was my first attempt at this challenge. And in my head, I was envisioning a nightmarish cycle of death after death as I swapped servers looking for a start. And honestly, I wouldn't mind trying this again. This video is crafted with love from the bottom of my heart. So if you enjoyed, Consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.